Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm the founder of the Marriage Foundation. I've been doing this for quite a long time. This topic is, I hate these topics because I always tell people the truth. And I'm going to tell you the truth and it's not an easy thing for me to do. What to do when you catch your wife cheating. And I have to tell you that I work with hundreds of therapists and I have for many, many years and I've spoken to them and this topic comes up a lot. I bring it up because the one area that I cannot help people with either when I worked on the ground with them live or running the Marriage Foundation, we are never able to help a man whose wife is cheating on him and I guess the best thing I could say is that, to explain it, is that if she still was with you, like spiritually you might say, like all in, then it would be impossible. Now it's really, and women hate hearing this, but it's different when a man cheats on a woman and that's why it's so hard for men to hear this. The truth is that if your wife is cheating on you, she already moved on. Now, I'm not talking about if she got drunk and she ended up having sex with somebody at a party. That's a little different, not 100% different. But the truth is that your wife left the marriage some time ago. Because women don't just have multiple sex partners as easily as men do. It's a completely different makeup that we're dealing with psychophysiologically from what they are built as psychophysiologically. See, they, their center of their universe is their heart because biologically they're the ones who have the burden of getting pregnant and raising a child, you know, in, in these modern times. Oh yeah, the, the husband and wife share the responsibility, but biologically we don't. Biologically, it's all upon the wife. The man's role is to be the defender, the supporter, the lover. So when a wife leaves that marriage, mentally, if you, if you will, and is willing to have an affair with someone else, it means she's not with you anymore. And so that's our reality of the reality. Now you may find someone who tells you differently, and if you do, and you're trying to save your marriage, we can't help you. If you find someone who can, please, and I'm being very sincere, if you find someone who could help you save your marriage, and it works, let us know because we want to help men who are in this situation too. We're, we're a nonprofit to serve people. We're not here just making money from selling courses and like that. So that's it. And even when men take our men's course, uh, one of the first classes is if your wife has already left you. This is already left you. That's part of it. Just because she hasn't packed her bags and moved out doesn't mean she's still with you. I'm so sorry. The positive that I could offer to you is this. We, uh, just recently, we had a member write to us who said, you know, I took your course four years ago when my wife was cheating. Um, I ended up leaving her based on, on what you told me and then I got remarried and because of your course everything is phenomenal and the point here is that there is a future for you. There is and it may not be with your current wife but it doesn't mean that you now have to live the life of a monk or walk around suffering your entire life over what happened to you here we move on. It's complicated. Usually we have kids. Some men stay with their wives 
even though they know they can never heal the marriage because of the kids. That's laudable, um, but most don't. Most move on. So that's the marriage foundation point of view on this. And I hope you don't take it as gospel necessarily, but do consider it in, in your thinking about what to do. You have our prayers. I personally care for you individually. I know what you're going through. Not that it happened to me, but I, I, I'm empathetic. And so I feel so much when I would meet people uh, who were going through this. We, we are here for you. You could still write to us. You go to our website and there's a uh, free part, Ask a Counselor. And thank you so much for stopping by. God bless you and take care.